Three months ago, more than 80% of Texas was considered to have some level of drought. That number has dropped to less than 30%, but just west of Bear County, including the Hill Country and areas south and west, they still need more rain to eliminate this four-year drought. But area lakes have much more water. It's reminiscent of the lake levels, how they were in the last few years. Unfortunately, it came at a cost of uh, life and, and businesses that were that was unexpected. Three months ago, Lake Travis was 42% full. Today, 88%. Lake Buchanan went from 54% to near 100%. Medina Lake still extremely low, but above the level of 2% three months ago, now three times that at 6%. And Canyon Lake three months ago fell to under 47%. It's now bounced back up to 67%. We're doing rentals and our ramp is open as well. As far as we know and understand, the lake is safe and it's open to the public. We reached out to the Texas Commission on Environmental Quality about the water quality following the flood and they told us every two years TCEQ evaluates recent quality assured water quality data for each major water body in the state, assesses compliance with surface water quality standards and identifies areas that are not meeting applicable surface water quality standards. So for now, we have to rely on first-hand reports like those from Tobin, who said there used to be some debris. What we see is just kind of things here and there. There's no large debris fields of it any longer. For more information about water safety when it comes to flood water in lakes and rivers, we have links with the story on Kens5.com. Download Kens5 Plus on your TV and watch Kens5 News and other great local programs for free.